All right, this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do bangs. I'm so excited she wants a full bang because she's, her hair is long as you guys can see. So we're gonna go all the way across. So the way I section a bang is I lay the comb here and I section in a triangle and I like a wide bang. So I want the bangs to fall wide out to the recession. So I come from both sides and with hers, I'm not doing a triangle. I'm doing more of a round bang. So it comes here wide, as you guys see, come in tight and look where it comes here. So because she has a cowlick here, I have to allow for that cowlick to kick up. So you guys check this out. I pull this together. I'm going to, I'm not going to twist because it's still going to create an arch, but because the cowlick's here, I want to leave a little space. So I push here and you guys can see when the hair is here and bubbles, mm -hmm. I want the hair to be flat like this. <laughs> so when I push over, it becomes flat. Mm -hmm. So I cut right at the bridge of the nose and I cut that off. So when I cut that off and this falls, you see how soft so and nice it is, that. but it looks beautiful on her. But right now, to me, it's a hard line. Yes. And look, the bangs are flat. I want the bangs to kick up and be round. So I take this entire section. I take everything here and the key is the twist. This is where the magic happens. I do the twist here and lay it flat. Toss her cowlicks on this side. I push to this side because when I twisted it, it becomes opposite. So come in tight. I measure her forehead ridge, which is here, two fingers, and I cut two fingers off of here. So check this out. And you guys would think when I cut this much off, sure. they're gonna be short, but guess what? They're not. Nope. Gonna they're gonna be absolutely oh, look perfect. That. Maybe you and bouncy. Slay. What do you guys think? Oh, that's beautiful. So sassy. Slay. Shouldn't need 